To provide efficient assistance to the Peugeot After Sales Network, the Bodywork Training Center presents Welding Techniques for Use in Body Repair. For several years, developments of steel panel and the use of unitized bodies have resulted in the creation and use of new assembly solutions and welding processes. The use of thinner and higher performance HEL, high elastic limit steel panels, imposes a number of precautions during the assembly. On the 605, 72 to 73 percent of panels are pre-protected by electro-zinc plating or galvanization. Some of the many welding processes are particularly well suited to body repair. Oxyacetylene welding is carried out by melting the edges of parts to be welded. The necessary temperature of about 1,500 degrees is obtained by combustion of a mixture of acetylene and oxygen in the torch. The process can assemble thin steel panels with or without filler metal. If a filler metal is used, it must be of the same nature as the parts to be welded. The disadvantage of oxyacetylene welding is that it deforms panels and destroys galvanization protection causing oxidation. Its use for body repair is restricted to tin glaze and braze welding. Braze welding requires a temperature of 800 to 900 degrees and a special filler metal in order to join the edges of parts to be assembled without melting them. Arc welding with coated electrodes can be used to weld thick ferrous metal. The heat energy supplied by an electric arc between the meltable electrode and parts to be welded can raise temperatures above 3000 degrees. This process, widely used in industry, is unsuitable for bodywork since it can't be used to weld thin panels. The first welding process under protective gas was the TIG tungsten inert gas process. This process in particular is used in the industry. It can be used for the assembly of different materials such as stainless steel, copper, aluminium and their alloys. The MIG metal inert gas process is fairly similar to the TIG process and is more widely used. MIG arc welding is particularly used for panels which are accessible on one side only. And for the assembly of partially replaced elements. Using a DC power supply, a meltable electrode wire produces an arc across to the part to be welded. This wire acts as a filler metal and unwinds as welding progresses. An inert gas is blown onto the molten zone and isolates it from the atmosphere. The MIG process has a number of advantages. A high welding rate due to the automatic wire supply system.
the possibility of welding thin panels, widely used in the automobile industry. It's very easy to handle for access into the smallest spaces and in all positions. A considerable reduction of the heat quantity due to the gas and localization of the weld practically eliminates deformation and destruction of the zinc. Resistance welding, or spot welding, consists of pressing parts together by two electrodes allowing the passage of a high current. The electrical resistance to the current flow produces local heating, thus forming the welding spot. This is called the Joule effect. The principle can therefore be summarized as follows. A force to clamp panels to be welded, a high current producing local heating. Time necessary for formation of the spot weld. With the advantages of speed of execution, strength of the weld, and lack of deformation and corrosion, this solution is used for almost all body welds during manufacture. Moreover, this process is suitable for welding pre-protected panels. Since the objective of body repairs is to respect the initial condition of the vehicle whenever possible, it's therefore essential to use resistance welding and, exceptionally, MIG welding. Using this method, we'll replace the rear wing on this 605. Each operating phase includes symbols representing the operations to be carried out. The wing was removed after cutting out the quarter panel and disconnection from the shell by grinding welded points. The plasma cutting technique facilitates cutting the replacement wing. Welding areas on the body and the part to be welded are cleaned by brushing. This may be facilitated by heating without exceeding 300 degrees in order to avoid damaging the galvanized or electro zinc plating. Before final installation of the elements to be welded, Assembly areas must be protected by electro-zinc plating. Systematically apply an approved weldable primer. This product is conducting and provides protection against corrosion. Place a strip of structural glue on the wing skirt. The method uses these symbols to show how to weld the quarter panel using MIG arc welding. The MIG weld is made in a spacious and well-ventilated room or equipped with an extraction system. Thick and dry clothes prevent burns due to molten metal sparks. A cap fitted with special filtering goggles protects the eyes from ultraviolet rays. 
Contact lenses must not be worn under any circumstances. These ultraviolet rays can also attack the skin and gloves must be worn. A MIG unit can be used for three welding modes. Intermittent welding when panels are thin or with a wide spacing in order to prevent deformation. Spot welding or plugging for panels accessible from one side only. For continuous welding, set the wire unwinding speed and current selectors as a function of the thickness to be welded. This welding method is suitable for superimposed panels or for panels at an angle. After checking the alignment, weld the quarter panel selecting the intermittent mode and starting by spot welding the edges. Bring the nozzle to about 5 mm from the part to be welded. Seen from the front, the torch must form an angle of about 90 degrees with the part. Seen from the side, it must form an angle of about 30 degrees from the vertical. spot weld parts returning towards the center and leaving a spacing of about 50 times the thickness of the panel. The part thus held in place can then be completely soldered holding the torch in both hands, with a hand in contact with the part for better guidance. To stop, Release the trigger and hold the torch above the bath for about one to two seconds. The gas which escapes during this short period protects the weld from the atmosphere. To continue operations, the method stipulates that we should use resistance welding. The diameter of electrode tips varies as a function of the panel thickness to be assembled. The following formula is used. Diameter equals E times 2 plus 3 millimeters. If the two panels to be welded have the same thickness, the two electrode tips will be of the same diameter. If the two panels do not have the same thickness, the diameter of each electrode tip will be different. The end grinding angle varies depending on the machine used. Choose the electrode holder so that the passage of each is as short as possible. Poor adjustment of electrode holders may deform or penetrate the panels and result in low strength of the welding spot. This adjustment is made so that at the time of clamping, the two arms are parallel and the electrodes are opposite each other. Landing is the pressure applied by the electrode tips to compress the two panels to be welded in order to obtain the best possible contact.
With a manual unit, adjust the distance between the handles to obtain 35 to 40 millimeters. There are three phases in the spot welding cycle. Landing, welding, and forging, about two seconds depending on the cooling time under the compression force. The color of the spot weld is a guide to its quality. After applying the corrosion protection, carry out a two spot welding test on a sample using panels with the same characteristics as those on the vehicle. When the two panels are separated, the welding spot must remain on one of the two panels and be torn off the other. Respect welding rates recommended by the machine manufacturer to avoid excessive temperature rises. Keep electrode tips clean during use. In repair, the distance between weld spots is 30 to 40 millimeters. The distance between the spot and the edge of the panel must be at least equal to the spot diameter. For welding by plugging, 6.5 millimeter diameter holes were drilled during the preparation of the spare wing. Scrape the inside of the holes with a brush to give a good bond of the spot. This will make it possible to remove the weldable primer at the weld point. Move the arc towards the bottom of the hole. Weld in successive pulses and advance by rotating to fill the hole. Braze welding of the joint under the rear light can give a good seal and a good surface condition. This braze welding is carried out using the torch. After these assembly operations, surface irregularities should be removed by grinding, disc or other welds and plugs. In general, partial element replacement welds require a tin finish. In accessible areas, grind and check plainness with a panel fitter's file. Finally, finish grind with an 80 or 100 grain flexible disc to obtain a perfect surface condition and plainness. Carry out electro zinc plating of the surfaces on which the corrosion protection was damaged by the weld or by disc grinding. Before applying paint systems, all successive protection and sealing operations will be carried out in order to obtain a quality repair. فراموش نکنید که توی کانال سابسکرایب کنید زنگوله رو به صدا در بیارید و کانال رو با دیگر دوستانتون به اشتراک بذارید 
تا ویدیوی بعدی روز روزگار خوش